our set of two pineapple slicers that comes along with a wedging tool. Yep. So you're going to be able to actually cut this great big, beautiful pineapple into nice even wedges should you choose to use them. And the beauty is now with this set, you're gonna get two sizes. You're getting two cutters because sometimes you need a medium size and sometimes you need a large size. Okay. So the beauty behind this, you have this wedger that can come off, but I left it on for the first <coughs> one to just to show you that once you've gone through, instead of doing the traditional way of taking the handle off like I always do, it actually goes down oh, look at that. and cuts all of those pieces <laughs> for it. That's great. Isn't that great? So that's the new wedger. And the other thing that's new also is the two sizes. You're gonna get a medium size and a large size. You're gonna get the handle that actually inter interchanges. And on there you're gonna get, a, it's hard to see on a camera, but there's gonna be an M for medium. Kinda see that right there. See that M right there, M for medium, perfect. Thank you guys. And then this one of course will have an L for large. See that? Uh, can I see? There we go. Yeah, there, there it is. We large. Go. Okay, large. So that's how you know. And the reason for that is because pineapples, of course, are irregular. You don't know what size you're going to get. Right. So you have to do is find out They're the like circumference. They're like a box of chocolates. Yeah. You never know which one you're going to get. That's what I was told. Exactly. <laughs> I've heard that before. Hey, now I will tell you, we have beautiful spring colors for you. Yep. New I have colors. to say, very similar colors to some of the Spring Temptations colors we That's just That's where saw. we got our inspiration from. Absolutely. So take a look here. I've got it for you in berry. This reddish color is called berry. Then we have it for you in green, then blue, and finally yellow. Now you're watching Mark Charles use a special pineapple knife. I want you to know that that is available as a separate purchase. Mm -hmm. Ask your operators about said knife because it is designed with a serrated blade yep. to be perfect to cut through your pineapple. And it'll do all the fruits and vegetables too, but it's Wycoon Recon. Oh, so and here's all. a quick number for there it. Is, it is K36216 for $21 and change. That's really a perfect thing to have for your summertime. And Mark Charles, do we also have the watermelon knife in stock? No, we do not. We're sold out of that. Oh, sorry. we sold out of that. Okay, so just the pineapple soon. knife. <laughs> yeah, so keep an eye out for that. So again, I just cut off the top. You want to keep a you know a nice flush. And what you're going to do is take your two sizes and see which fits. There's the large. You can see that's a little too large. But the medium on this one, the pineapple seems to be a little bit smaller right now. But you know they get larger during the season too. So the medium's great. Now what you're going to do is just stab the middle and you're going to turn. If you just take a second to watch what happens, there's a spiral that happens. See that? And it actually starts going underneath. And what I love about this tool, instead of buying pre-cut um, pineapple that has preservatives in it and you're paying for the pre-cut, I can do two or three slices, wrap this up and put this in the fridge, then actually go back the next day if you wanted to do more. So that's what, another great unique thing about this. And all you do is twist and give it a little push. Now, a couple little secrets. If you need a little leverage, I always say do it inside the sink because you have some leverage because it'll be lower on you. And it's a little messy. So it's um, messy because of all the, the natural juice. Exactly. So if you want to uh, just be careful with your countertops, that's a great way to go about now, it. Now, the other thing too is that because of all the natural juices, there's a lot of suction in here. So instead of pulling straight out, all I ask you to do is twist and pull. You're gonna get, get some air it pockets releases, in there. Yeah, it releases the suction. Okay. So you're not doing. I'm not cutting anything when I'm doing this. It's just releasing this, the pressure. Now look at all this pineapple. Look at this. Now you have to realize that that is an inedible center core, so it cores it for you because you can't eat that. And the beautiful thing is once you cut this out, you can use this as a vase. You can put exotic drinks in here and be like the movies. Yeah, get like a, a, a plastic cup and, and press right down in there and we, use it for like a cocktail. We have our sundae here. You can put flowers in it, all that. Okay, so the next Ooh. thing you're going to do is pop the top off. All right. And then you're going to take this and drop this down, give it a nice tap. Now what you don't realize is that all of these are connected. So all you're going to do is take your knife and if you do one cut down one side, what you've created is perfect rings. Okay, so if you're doing those How those many hams, have us roasted a ham over, yep. over uh, Easter with or big barbecue, pineapple rings? Or barbecued hamburgers with uh, grilled pineapple on top of you them? what my mom used to do is take the cloves and use them to pin the pineapple ah, yes, rings good idea. onto the ham, and then she'd roast it in the oven. So good. If you go all the way through, you're going to get beautiful halves, half moons, or smiley faces. And of course, if you're doing a salad, you can just cut and you're gonna get quarters, but remember, you get this coring tool that if you wanna put it on the top, you'll get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices. So you really have a lot of choices, whether you wanna do a whole ring, half ring, quarter rings, or eight individual slices, all ready to go. Now, everybody is choosing their colors, so why don't we go through them again. Okay, you do so that. So you'll know that you're getting the medium and the large pineapple slicer. Yep. The one handle will- Interchange. Uh, will interchange between the medium and the large, and you get your wedging tool in a matching color. So this is berry. The first one is called berry. Then we have it for you in green, then blue. Sorry, Marianne, I'll slow down for you. 
And then finally, I've got it for you in the yellow. Don't miss out on these. They're $18.92. Hey, Mark Charles, one thing we always like to tell, yeah. if you're struggling at the supermarket to know what's a ripe pineapple uh, and what's yes, not, great tip. reach for one of the little green pieces here in the store and yank on it. If it easily pulls out, that's a ripe pineapple. This one, not so ripe. Nope, that's why because you use it. Because you know what? And I'll tell you, hand up. Just tasted one of your pineapple rings over there while yep. you weren't looking. Yeah. A little not quite ripe. Yep. So if you, and this is a great tip, if you go in to fry, buy fresh pineapple and you can't easily pull this out, it's put it right down it. and select another because yeah. it's not quite. Now, obviously pineapple right now. It's really the really the beginning of the season. Yeah. So beginning, and you know, I wanted to show you a real say, pineapple. Well, of course, so of course. I had to pull a little bit pre-ripe. Pre yeah, these I will these are all a little pre-ripe. Yeah. Again, I cut the top off and all you're gonna do is pick the size. I'm gonna choose the medium on this one. You're gonna stab the middle and you're gonna twist and watch what happens. There's a spiral effect that happens and you're just gonna give it a gentle push so you have that little bit of force that goes down and you're gonna twist and go. Remember, you can pull this out if with two rings, three rings, and you eat them and then go back. Or if you need to do the whole pineapple, the beauty is now a pineapple is not intimidating. In the past, people buy them when they're on sale, they put them on the counter because it looks so festive and summery, and then they just stare at it for two weeks because they're like, I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put anything, go through that. And now, in a matter of seconds, this very intimidating fruit is easily opened up, cored for you, and cut. And now you have beautiful rings or quarters or halves. And now with this slicing tool, you can actually have eight little individual slices ready for a fruit salad. Oh, they're just perfect. We love, right? Don't miss out on this. $18.92. And Mark Charles, before we wrap up. Yes. As fate would have it. There's trivia. some trivia for you. You know what's interesting to me is that we're towards the end of the show and you gave Chris, Tara, I thought you ran out of trivia by the time me. Au contraire, mon frere. Shocking how there's always right. an extra one for me. You know what? I got a little Frenchified up in here, or is that French fried? I'm not That's sure. Fine. All right, here we go. Trivia question for you about the open faced sandwich. Okay. Where did the open faced sandwich originate? Yikes. Was it Europe, Asia, North America, or South America? 